Are you running a plastic GoPro mount on your motorcycle? If so, stick around. I'm going to show you why you should throw them in the trash and buy this one instead. All right, when I was in Myrtle Beach, I broke two mounts. I broke my handlebar mount and a telescoping mount. So I decided to go this way instead. Hell's on two wheels told me I wouldn't regret buying them. And he was right, I do not regret buying this. The only thing I regret is I should have bought the bigger package. And I'm gonna show you a picture right here of the rest of the package that I bought. But out of that package, I have the clamp set up on this particular setup right here. The rest of it's on my tripod, which is in the picture. And I bought the six inch extension because I like to fold mine down and pull the camera back and have it out above my bedroll so it doesn't get in frame like it did on my Myrtle Beach video. Uh, they also come with this nice little aluminum wrench that says Rick Rack on it. And yes, I have them on my keys because if I need it while I'm on the road, it's in my pocket. No big deal. This particular setup, how I have mine, i got multiple ways I can use it. And I can stick it back here and tighten it down like so. And I could sit there and do an interview with somebody or just talk to the camera. Uh, do the same thing up here on the handlebars, too. I typically run mine right here on my bars and throw it forward. But for what I'm about to show you, I'm putting it right here, which you could run it right here if you like. I mean, it's pretty much preference of how you want your videos to be at what angles. But here's the main reason why I highly suggest you throw your plastic mounts away. Not only for me breaking mine, but my man Hills on Two Wheels and Miss Hellbelly went to Florida this past week. And their GoPro mount on the way down broke and their Insta360 hit the road and they got ran over numerous times by cars. Well, they stopped and they went back and got it, which I put a picture right here, hopefully of the damage and as you can tell the 360 is completely destroyed he said the memory card was destroyed the whole plastic mounts were destroyed the only thing that was not destroyed and is still usable is the Rick Rack GoPro extension would have wondered how this whole setup would have hit the ground what would have been left of it but this thing's not going to fall off as long as you tighten it down and I got a pretty good crank on mine with this plastic that they have on the jaws it doesn't affect your finish it doesn't scratch it or anything at least it hadn't in my case but uh yeah it doesn't move all that much so you figure me tugging on this is going to be well over 100 miles an hour wind hitting it it's not going to move as long as you tighten these down with the wrench she ain't going nowhere and the reason, uh, another reason I, I like this is because I could sit here and hold it and do an interview or sit here and talk myself this way or take video of the crowd if I'm at a bike week or something. So there's multiple uses you can do to it, if, depending on if you get the two, I think there's a two, four, six, and eight inch spacer or extension, I think is what they call it. Um, I have a six. I'm kind of wanting an eight now, not because there's something wrong with the six, just because if I want that extra two inches or the extra eight inches sticking it here and just going up even higher, I could do that. I would have loved to have bought the bigger package, and I kind of regret now not buying the bigger package. And I would love to see Rick Rack. I hope Rick Rack gets to watch this video and maybe thinks about, takes this idea here seriously. 
I would love to see them make an aluminum cage with some padding on the inside of it that probably comes up over the glass here to protect the glass and beefy back here out of aluminum where you can still get to your ports so that you know sevens and eights I think the eight and nines are the same. The 10 kind of goes back towards the seven, the way the seven was. I, I don't remember off exactly. I still have a seven and an eight black. But I think it'd be really cool if Rick Rack made these cases too. And the Insta360 cases like Hells on Two Wheels had. And I, I would say the camera would have a better chance of surviving if it got knocked off the bike. And I think, honestly, it would have to be like a two by four coming off a truck. But by that point, you're probably going to wreck the whole bike anyways. Unless some magical thing happened and it only hit the Rick Rack mount and completely went around you. I still don't know for sure if the Rick Rack mount would even fail at that point. The camera might be cracked from the impact, but the rest of the mount, I'd almost be willing to say it would stick to the bike. Um, if you don't believe me, you can message Hells on Two Wheels and ask his thoughts on them. I'm sure he's probably going to comment in the comments below and agreeing with me. Um, Rick Rack is an awesome company. I got to meet the owner there. He's awesome. The whole Rick Rack crew at Myrtle Beach was awesome. Hopefully I'll get to see them again and maybe get to film with them again someday. But go check out rickrack.com. On the upper left hand side of the menu, they have a drop down. Go to Rick Rack, then go stroll on down to the GoPro mounts. And I'm specifically talking about GoPro mounts on this video only. They do make a lot more stuff if you have touring bikes. They have an awesome bag and bed, uh, not bed, but a uh, rack mount set up for your tour pack. I've heard nothing but great things about those bags, but who knows, maybe they'll end up making one for a, a um, sissy bar. But definitely go check these guys out use consider Rick Rack insurance for your camera equipment cameras are expensive I mean three to five hundred dollars for a GoPro or Insta 360 you put it on a fifteen dollar plastic mount I was guilty of that I am not guilty of that no more I wish they had it for the helmets because I would have them Rick Rack mounts for my helmet also but they predominant, I think the only ones they have is for adding to the motorcycle. I don't think they have anything for full face helmet. So that may be another thing that they want to look into because I would love to have all Rick Rack mounts. But final thought, 100% get it. Go blow them up. These things, I, I love to say they're indestructible I don't know how indestructible they are, but I guarantee you if it goes down, you're still going to be able to reuse it. Might have some scratches in the finish, but you're not going to have to go out and buy another camera and um, mount. So go to rickrack.com, go get you some of these mounts. As soon as they come in, throw those plastic ones in the trash. I promise you, you will not regret buying these. So I'll see you on the next one.